Okay, hello again. Um, this is another tutorial for Finale 2008. If you watched my first tutorial too, uh, you will remember probably that I mentioned many times that uh, Finale is a great software, it can, can do everything you want, but uh, it's really big uh, as a software and uh, many parameters and things. And sometimes you try to find a solution and you don't even know where to look for the solution. Even though the tutorial is great, sometimes uh, things are deceiving and they do not uh, appear in the places that they should. Now a common problem, I'm going to deal with two common problems here in this tutorial. The first one is what you see on this page. I see it in a lot of student works. You know, they have to compose a simple thing and they, they, they bring the score back and everything looks fine. And then the last measure has this ridiculous situation here that appears. It's a very stretched out one measure just standing by itself doesn't make any sense. And uh, I'm saying the situation is ridiculous, but uh, you know, but I understand the frustration of many students do not know how to deal with this. Now, somebody would assume, for example, that um, this is a measure that that is uh, stretched out. And uh, so if we want to fix it, we have to kind of use some sort of a measure tool. But this is actually one deception uh, out of uh, quite a few that occur in this software. Uh, and not for a bad reason, but this is not to, to be explained at this point. Why is that happening? Now, the way you deal with the situation and the way the, the place that you find the tool that you need for that is the page layout tool. It's this lower uh, lower button button here. Uh, again, it's lower to, to me because I arrange those buttons to be like that. So you press this and then you see handles appearing in every system. Okay, so this is system seven, this is system eight, this is system nine. Now, when this happens, when you press this button, you can move individually all these systems either up or down or actually shrink them. So this is how that works. And again, I'm explaining this because, as I said, because of the software being so large and, 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 and heavy, sometimes you don't even know where to look for the right information. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, although it's a measure setting and it deals with a particular measure, there's nothing in the measure section or the measure tool that, that can make this this measure, uh, you know, fit or, you know, appear appropriately on the page. So this is happening from the page layout tool down here. Okay, so this thing got out of the way. I hope a lot of people are going to be happy with this. Uh, and now another way to do this, of course, is the fit music. Let's say you don't want to stretch it down and because that even doesn't look good to you. Okay, so leave it as it is. But then you just have to figure out a way to maybe include this measure with some other measures here. Okay, so the way you do that is to fit the music. So you select the selection tool and uh, let's say you, you take you take uh, from this measure down to this measure. The way I do that is I click on that first top layer and then I press shift, the shift key on my keyboard and then I click the lower measure and it's all selected. And then you either press the combination of keys control M as mic, control M, and then you have the option, you have the fit measures box that comes up. Do not leave it as default. You have to check the option lock selected measures into one system. And then it does it. So that's it. Okay. Or uh, also, yes, let's undo that. You select them again and then you go up to utilities and also you find it again at fit measures under utilities fit measures. But remember, you have to select them first. Select the measures that you want first. And then either control M or utilities fit measures, the fit measures show up, you select the second option, lock selected measures into what's one system and that's it, you're done. But sometimes that's not, not possible or it's not visually uh, good enough. For example, if those were 30 second notes, it would fit, 
because it fits no matter what, but it wouldn't, you know, if the one node head would overlap another one. So it's not a good idea. So in case you have this case, then page layout tool, and then you grab the handle, lower uh, right handle, and then you, you know, you shrink it up as much as you like.